In this video, I interview Bryce from the vlogging channel, The Jergies, and he shares his tips about how to get press and media to write about your videos so you get more views and exposure. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Video Influencers. Help you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. And I'm super pumped to be sitting here today with Bryce from the vlogging channel, The Jergies. How's it going, man? Good, happy to be here. Super pumped to be here. We're at CVX Live. And Bryce just finished up a session talking all about how to get more exposure, get more views for your YouTube videos of any kind. But specifically, this strategy helped uh, grow his vlogging channel. And that is really by getting people to write articles about your channel. So we're going to jump into some of those tips. But first of all, what's kind of your story and what are you guys doing on YouTube and things like that? Awesome. So I was on the industry side with an agency on YouTube years ago where we would make viral commercials for brands. And so when you're doing that for brands, you want to guarantee as much as you can to help it go viral. So we built relationships with journalists and online platforms like crazy to where we had thousands of contacts and those become irrelevant over the years. So I jumped in to be a creator, realized it's a totally different world. It's hard when you're actually the face and trying to build that brand. Um, and so um, it's been a process, but now we're at a point where we have a good sync and we've found our branding and our story. And so, yeah, now we create content while I still consult on the side. That's awesome. And so definitely check out their vlogging channel. But Bryce, let's talk about it. One of the things that we're going to be breaking down is specifically like kind of how to get press and media about your videos, but you have a whole process for actually like reverse engineering the whole thing. So share with us a case study of something that you guys did that worked for you. And then we'll get into some tips. Okay. So we knew, so my, it's just my wife and I, no kids yet. We know that obviously within vlogging, that family vlogging has a big following. It does really well. And so we wanted to help get this image of our channel of, oh, this is also a cute, adorable family to get that, that following. So we looked at reverse engineering, what are big websites or Facebook pages or whatever Instagram accounts that have these viewers that also follow these big vloggers. And cause we, it's hard to get collaborations with these big channels, but if you find what are the websites that are writing about these videos? So we did a backend search of like, okay, what are the big videos? who wrote that article and then you search and kind of stalk that journalist or that editor follow them on twitter you find a, an article that they wrote that ties into your branding too that's similar and then you tweet out that article tweet it to them and tell them something you appreciated from it most of the time they'll like it they'll respond back or they'll establish this connection so you build relationships and that's one way to do it when you have that relationship built and you come across a video that you think they'll appreciate send it to them something that they could write an article about. And sometimes it's not even your own because you're still building this credibility as someone who's a source for good content. So then intentionally, every once in a while, you want to create a video that's basically a story on a platter. So maybe you take an extra minute in your video to give some background of why you're doing this surprise for your daughter or why you're creating this piece as a family because editors love that. Your viewers will too, but especially editors. And then when you send it to these editors who've already written stories like that, it's basically like, hey, here's your Monday morning. Just made it easy for you. You can write about this video. I love that. So what's an example of one time that worked for you? Yeah, so we, um, we, did, uh, we found out, okay, families, um, surprise videos do really well, and puppies. And so we, I got an adoption center they had a ton of puppies and we had them come when Nellie was at work and filled our house with puppies. I located all these editors who in the past had written about animals and cuteness and families and had tweeted at them before in the past and then filmed the video. And when it went live, we shared it with a few of them. And it didn't pick up at first, but there was a few pages that wrote about it. And those pages are what other editors pull from. Yeah. And then it got shared everywhere. And we shared it with big Facebook pages as well. And sometimes you have to gave a little bit so we gave them permission to do their own edit but non-exclusive right because we knew that other journalists pull from that and it ended up with that video our video on youtube now has almost it's like four and a half million views almost and we were a small channel at the time we had like five thousand followers at the time and um on facebook with these other videos it's over 30 million views with like lad bible unilad cuteness overload inquisitor daily mail and so they all linked our page, got us a Facebook check mark. It got brands reaching out to us because now we're relevant wow. because of that. 
That's incredible. And so how much effort, like you also mentioned reaching out to a couple different people and, and the amount that maybe it's not going to be like an instant yes, one journalist, one publication, and then one tweet, and that's all the work. Right. But like maybe, you know, how much practical hustle kind of goes into something like this? I It really can take time. That's why... I, um, I encourage people to focus on your niche because you can be like, oh, this is a huge website, but it might have nothing to do with your platform. So only go after the ones that are specifically, they would care about your following and their followers would care about your content. So um, it, I, one editor, for example, contacted her, ended up meeting her at VidCon and uh, I didn't share a video with her for six months, but we had interacted over Twitter and when a video would come up and I see the credits, right? You look for who wrote it. I would tweet her and be like, hey, solid job. Yeah. And that was it, because now we're a friend. And to where literally, um, last week we uploaded another video and she texted me, because now, you know, we're texting friends now. Yeah. And she was like, that was an awesome video. Just with right that so that's super cool and you know one of the things we always talk about here on video influencers is you always want to be building your network of potential collaborations of potential press and media connections and what we like to do is start Google Docs that we just are continually adding names to or people we'd love to collaborate with or websites so that we can kind of circle through that process do you guys do anything like that we do yeah and and we keep it relevant and so and then you're I'm authentic with them so after they share an article or a video reach out to them and say, hey, I love this. Would you like us to send you more stuff if we think it's worthy, right? They don't want to be told, can I send you an email every day? But it's only rarely if we think this is worth your time and then we keep them updated. And if they leave or if they don't respond, just be real, be a person with them and say, hey, I don't know if you're still in the space, if you still write for X company, if you know someone who does, I'd love to be connected with them. Not spammy ever. Yeah. All right, super pumped to have Nelly joining us from the Jurgies for the lightning round. Are you guys ready? I feel nervous. Amped. Well, first of all, what does lightning look like and sound like? Good sound effects. You just gotta go fast. Like. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's what happens after your hair sticks out. Lightning round, lightning round. Three, two, one. Favorite TV show? We don't really watch TV. <laughs> I office and Parks and Rec. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, what he said. So you do actually watch <laughs> Netflix, sort of. First celebrity crush. You first. Go. Justin Timberlake and Sync. Hillary Duff, Lizzie what? McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Cat or dog? Dog. Dog. All of them. Dog. Favorite social network besides YouTube? Instagram. Ooh, Instagram. Coffee or tea? Ooh, herbal tea. Peppermint. Neither. Sad. Book that every influencer watching should read to build their influence. You need to answer this first. <laughs> then There's This by Bill Wasik. He's the guy that like, he started flash mobs before they happened and he talks about how things trend and leave and how you can build on that to stay trending. So. See, I don't read these kind of books. I'm all about like the Holocaust and history and stuff. That's all good. So we'll check, check that book out. We'll link it up in the description below. <laughs> Alchemist is really good. It's really inspiring. I just like people's mindset of getting through hard things. Favorite documentary or movie? The Art of Flight by Red Bull. Love that movie. 4K, snowboarding, epically shot. This scene right here. I love Lord of the Rings all the way. Extended versions? Heck yes. Good way to spend a day. We've done that. Uh, half of that. <laughs> what is each of your hidden talents? Can we say each other's? Because I don't feel like I have. What's mine? What would you say? Mine? <laughs> Mine's this. That is massive skill. <laughs> that those those are some power. You're a talented couple. Thanks. What is one of your no miss morning rituals? Going outside. Just if I if I have to walk outside, if I run, if I stand there, just getting outside. Getting outside. No, these are hard questions. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just want to say that. You must do something every single morning. I usually read. No miss. If you could give a TED Talk, what would it be about? How to make your life shareable. I love that. Mind over matter. All right. How has failure or setback in the past set you up for future success because you learned from it? And what's maybe one of your favorite failures? Okay. Um, so with my background in the industry of making viral videos and then our channel, We've had goes where we are like, this is going to blow up and it hasn't and realize it's because we were so focused on, we love this and it's going to go, but 
the people that will influence and help it take off may not be as passionate about it. So that was a, a good thing to learn to then create content that people already love and how can you weave yours in there. Love that. I really don't feel like you can learn without feeling. That's just part of life. And if you don't want to come over failure, you're not really going to learn. So I, yeah, our YouTube channel and I think just everything in life, that's how you get better. If you fail, I don't know, a dance tryout, you're going to practice harder to be on that yeah. dance, te dance team. Yeah, I did. And I made the ballroom dance team at UVU. Nice. Knowing now what you, you know, would have told yourself then, what advice would you give to your 20 year old self? I would say learn as much as you can from experts in the field that you care about and don't listen to the naysayers. Like I wish I would have started a YouTube channel forever ago, but I waited until people kind of gave me permission by paving the way. And it's always people hate or they have different ideas until it's paved and then they're like, oh, it's so awesome what you're doing. And I wish I would, I would tell myself, be more courageous doing that. Love that. Courage. I would say keep pushing yourself. I feel like we always have, we always feel like we have all the time in the world. Like I'm only 20. I can do this in two years or three years, but then you just waste time. And then you hit 28 and you're like, crap, I wish I did all that stuff that I had all that time to do. So time goes by fast. So just push yourself. If you have a, a dream, go for it now. Even if you're unsure about it, go for it. Do you have a quote um, or a saying that you like to live your life by or think about often? Just consistency. And then sometimes I throw in accountability. <laughs> Consistent and account. A consistency and accountability. Love it. Um, stay positive. You just got to stay positive. That's good. Stay positive and be consistent. That's a great mantra. And then lastly, favorite place in the whole wide world and why? I love Africa. My heart's in Africa. The people that are just so humble and kind and just like love you. And it just makes you think about life. Which I love part, Africa. Africa. I've been to Kenya, but I would go anywhere in Africa. I would say, yeah, that Africa was sweet. Also, there's a small village in Vietnam we were at that, besides Idaho, I love the fields in Idaho where I grew up, but that's always therapeutic. But in Vietnam, we were in the Tamcock village. I botched saying it, but we were on this canoe going through rice fields and all these mountains, and it was just like, it was awesome. Yeah, so serene, so awesome. Super, super cool. Guys, thank you so much. Nelly, thanks for joining us for the lightning round. Appreciate it. One more lightning. <laughs> How are we supposed to like to talk ourselves? <laughs> All right, finally, um, for those watching, you know, what? Uh, where can people find your stuff? At The Jurgies, so on Instagram or Twitter, and then on YouTube, forward slash The Jurgies. Yeah, so check out all their stuff, their channel, their vlog, and plus that will be in the description below. Final word of encouragement for influencers watching for just continuing to go, maybe they're discouraged or maybe they're doing great and they just want to do even better. Final sending off word. Just, Just keep at it. And whenever anything fails, just call it an experiment. And so not only to other people, but to yourself so you don't get too down and you learn from it and grow. So, and if you have questions, hit me up because I'm learning with you. So I love that. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Influencers, thanks so much for checking out this video. Bryce, really just want to affirm and just acknowledge you know, our, our, we've kind of been like meeting. We met at VidCon. We met here. It's been awesome to hear this dude's really smart. Love what you guys are doing. Love your vlog and love how you're helping people and just always, you know, modeling excellence and leveling everything up. Really appreciate you. Okay. Influencers, keep it locked here. Subscribe if you haven't yet uh, because we are helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Uh. <laughs> are we supposed to like to talk? We're like.